How's it going, everybody? Mark Z here for ESPN Esports, joined by Tyler Fion Erzberger. And today we will be talking about the NBA teams who have recently joined the North American LCS. We had the 100 Thieves team up with Cleveland Cavaliers, Clutch Gaming with the Houston Rockets, and lastly, Golden Guardians with the Golden State Warriors. Let's kick things off with 100 Thieves. They're a team with a lot of hype around them. Fion, what are your thoughts? It's a really interesting lineup of a lot of just a lot of really intriguing elements that if they can, they can come together, it's a team that you could expect a deep run into the playoffs. Right, a lot of these guys are veterans, have played all over the world, now coming together. Uh, Aframu was a really big surprise because he was so synonymous with CLG and now here he is on a different team. Yeah. Aframu is going to be really important on this team because of his AD carry, Cody Sun, who when we last saw him was flashing to his death at the World Championships sending Immortals straight out of Worlds, and sadly straight out of the LCS. RIP Immortals, we'll miss you. But Jeez. Cody, hopefully, Cody is not what we saw at Worlds though. I wanna, right. I wanna make that clear that Cody is a much better player that he performed at Worlds. At Worlds, it's the highest pressured point of, this, of the year, and people choke. The great players choke, even bang. A, a two-time world champion had a terrible world championship, but Cody Suns was a rookie coming into Aframu, someone who led Stixe to how good he is now on CLG. Aframu is the type of support that will make Cody, I believe, one of the best AD carries in the league. Next up is Clutch Gaming, paired up with the Houston Rockets. This is a team that a lot of their media was talking about all the analytics yeah. and stuff. What are your thoughts? It's pretty much team envious, but better. I mean. When you bring in a guy like Fevin from Europe, you're bringing in one of the best mid laners that you can buy. That's not from Korea, and he he has no you know English issues. Like he will be able to communicate up from the team from the get go. So he was one of the best free agents they could have signed. And Lyra and Fevin, just like someday in Levi, possibly on uh, Hundred Thieves, is a combination that's going to scare a lot of teams. And you have Hako and Apollo who are rock solid in the bot lane. In the top lane though, that's where it will get a little bit dicey for Clutch Gaming. Last and most likely last, <laughs> Golden Guardians paired up with Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors, the NBA champions, will not, probably not be winning the LCS championship, at least, at least to start out with, at least right. to start out with. This team is the only uh, LCS team in North America that does not have any import slot players. An all-American boys team. What do you think about that, Mark? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see how it pays off. Probably not very well. No, all North American rosters, uh, there's just generally considered a, a lack of yeah. talent in North America, and a lot of the good talent goes into these other teams that are mixed with import slot players. The guy that the savior, the people, the reason people are saying maybe this team can do something is their mid laner high, who has who has taken teams from nowhere to somewhere before. I mean, FlyQuest, he would... FlyQuest it was in the same exact position as Golden Guardians last year. People were like, Balls, Lemonation, Moon? This team can't do anything. They got top four in spring last year. So I think for Golden Guardians fans, there is hope. There is hope. There is a lot of good pieces on this team. There's no import slot superstar player, but you have a lot of promising talents that have a chip on their shoulder. Matt's coming in. 90 pound slimmer he's in a great mindset you have contracts who's coming in from cloud nine who has who who kind of went from the easiest position possible last year coming in like oh hi jensen high impact now being on a team just fed to the wolves right gonna have to do a lot more this year while i think the golden guardians have the weakest roster i don't think high will allow this team to finish 10th he will not finish that they will finish eighth or ninth and he will drag this team he will Get this team ready and prepared to at least be able to beat one of those mental boom teams. All right. All right, well, thank you very much, Fion. A little bit of optimism for you, Golden Guardians fans. If you want more coverage of League of Legends from ESPN Esports, go to ESPN.com esports.